everyone, so for this video I'm going to show you how to really quickly insert a, a Seesaw sticker template into your Seesaw work for feedback. Um, so you might have seen online that Seesaw stickers are flying around, they're all the new craze uh, when it comes to providing feedback. What I have done is actually made my own Cecil sticker templates that are um, more of a professional teacher look. Um, I'm not just inserting a Bitmoji, and if that's what you want to do, then that is totally fine. There is no judgment there. Um, this is more just what works for me. So this is a slideshow presentation which I shared in an online PLD yesterday. Um, if I click down here at the bottom, it will actually bring up all of the templates which you can make a copy of to then change with your own Bitmoji. And what they are is they're really simple, quick little boxes drawn up with um, a sign at the top that says feedback from Mrs. Presley, Chris, that's my name. And there's lots of different Bitmoji um, templates that I can pick from to use for my feedback. So I'm going to really quickly show you how to insert those. So say, for example, I really like this one here. I'm going to first download it as an image. I need it as an image file to be able to upload it as a feedback sticker. So I'm going to click download as an image. It's downloaded here at the bottom. I'm now going to go to my item on Seesaw that I want to provide feedback for. So this one here is what I want. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to click edit. So you're going to edit the item to then be able to add your feedback onto it as a sticker. So this is the work here, looks beautiful. I'm now over here on the right going to click the camera and then upload. And what it's going to do is it's going to prompt you, it's going to take you and say where do you want to find your sticker. And it will post it on top of the learning. So you can then move it around, you could resize it. So I'm going to leave mine there in the corner. And then you use a text label to write your feedback. So I love how you have completed the letter of the week. How tricky was it? Okay. Then you can change the color of that. And you can change the style if there is a particular way that you like it set. You can resize it, then you place it on your feedback so that the kids can come back and check on it. Then you just click the tick and it will then upload your work with the feedback sticker on it. So if I can, so now it's going to be, I've got to go find it because I used an old one for this example. It will have the feedback sticker placed on the work. Um, there, are These templates here, there are different types of templates. It just depends on what you want to use. You could use one that has a box for next learning steps. I quite often use the two stars and a wish template. So I've got this as a sticker as well. And all of these you can make a copy of and use um, for your own stickers if that's what you're after.